Praise morning, everyone. Let's all stand up and let's praise God. Through this praise, let's proclaim that Jesus is the Christ, Jesus as Christ. Let's praise our God. <laughs> Jesus, he is the prize.
this is our life message. Um, God called us to really receive the greatest answer to the only unique problem. And we all fall in Genesis 3 problem, but Christ came to us. God came to us through Jesus Christ. And He became the way. He is the truth. And He gave us life. And this should be our message in our lives. Seeing those people who are living in darkness, suffering, what kind of eternal message are we going to proclaim to them? The unique problem is already finished, but the problem is people are not really knowing what is really the fundamental problem why they are suffering. And God called us as a witnesses of Christ and he gave us this eternal message in us that I am the only way, the truth, and the life. There's no other way but only through believing in me. And we must imprint this in our heart even to our next generation. I was so blessed while praising God earlier. I can see how Esther, the little Esther, <laughs> are really enjoying praise. Even in our praise, we should enjoy how Jesus Christ is with us. How the forces of darkness in us are really crumbling down in us. You know, there's a time that we are not in a good state going to worship, but the mystery of praise is breaking down the forces of darkness in us. And it is enjoying our identity and authority, our blessing that the Christ who became the true prophet, priest, and king is in us. Let's worship our God with this enjoyment that I know how God called me. God called me to really proclaim this eternal message. God called me to really do the eternal devotion of pro proclaiming only Jesus Christ. Let's worship our God. of God I hear the cry of His heart for the words that start our children our sins my worthy things I pray that you may their hearts again deep within my heart
Amen. Let's give the highest glory to our Lord Jesus. God is his spirit and his worshipers must worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen. Let us read response reading number 128, Lent 5. Truly my soul find rest in God. My salvation comes from Him. Truly He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. How long will you assault me? Would all of you throw me down, this leaning wall, this slaughtering fence? Surely they intend to pull me from my lovely place. They take delight in lies with their mouth, they're blessed, but in their hearts, they're called. Yes, my soul, find rest in God. My hope comes from Him. Truly, He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress, I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge altogether. Sure, Trust in Him at all times, times, you people. people you pour out your hearts to, to Him, for God is our refuge. Amen. Amen. Let us confess our faith through stating the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. He descended to the dead, and on the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
Let us all come into prayer. Almighty Father, maker of heaven and earth, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, thank you for your everlasting and overflowing love. Thank you for giving us the grace of salvation in Christ Jesus. At this time, we believe that Christ is the solution to all the problems of our life and is our Lord and Master. Fill us with the Holy Spirit as we pray at this time. We believe that Jesus is the true prophet, true priest, and the true king. Thank you for opening the way to, you, to meet you while we are lost and separated from God. Thank you for setting us free from our original sin, consequential sins, and all the curses and disasters that come that come because of the sin of our ancestors. Thank you for allowing us to come out of the destiny of living as a slave to the devil and helping us live the life of enjoying our identity and authority as your child. Thank you for allowing us this worship time that allow us to enter into your sovereignty, your absolute covenant and absolute answer. Lord, Thank you for your word for this week that will guide us for the next direction in the field. Thank you that you that even we are in our own tents, we still enjoy the blessing of the church and worship even at this time. Thank you for making us realize the meaning of worshiping you and for us to enjoy the time of meditation of the covenant. Continue to bless us to be the main figure of meditation movement. And may we stand as the one individual who blocks the disasters in the field. May we take the path of world evangelization at this time schedule. And may we continue to stick on your word to see the absolute time schedule by opening our spiritual eyes to see every incident and every situation in the field. May we continue to enjoy entering into the mystery of prayer and experience to be liberated from the most difficult time of our life. And thank you for restoring our faith, just like Mary, who poured out the pure perfume in Jesus' feet. Thank you for the guidance of the evangelism camp this week. We pray for all the new souls who comes back to you. We pray that may all of us experience the answer of the biblical darakba and may the five basics open up in each and every field with the complete gospel of Christ. May disciple raise up through the five trainings, and may the field be conquered with the five system, and the five vision be fulfilled in every region. May we spend the rest of our life finding and raising disciples in and out of our church, and devote our life in the most valuable and blessed way. We are bringing to you your church, O oh Lord. Bless our church to be the church that will do the life movement and the church movement that you truly desire. The church that is built upon the rock of Christ and the church that will only proclaim that only Jesus Christ is the only answer to the unique problem of man. As we have our worship today and receive the pulpit message, may we only follow, obey, and listen to your gentle voice. We are asking for the double portion of your Holy Spirit to fill our pulpit pastor that she may proclaim the message that you desire for us to hold on to as our word for the coming week, as well as the translator. Fill them with your Holy Spirit and guide them with your pipe powers and strength. May we continue to have the spiritual communication through the three things of today. And may we continue to seek your kingdom and righteousness as we worship at this time. For you are the master and the center of this worship. At this time, we bind and destroy all the forces of darkness that covering our hearts, our thoughts and spirit, not to really concentrate on your word today. Again, we give you thanks and we entrust to you this worship time. 
In Jesus Christ's name, we pray with all the glory and thanksgiving to you. Amen. Our Bible, John chapter 14, verse 1 to 6. Let's read all together. Do not let your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. My Father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me, that you also may be where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas says to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? She just answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Amen.
Amen. Praise the Lord. 자, 인사합니다. 하나님이 우리와 함께 하십니다. Let's greet each other. God is with us. God is with us. 성령님이 우리와 함께 하십니다. The Holy Spirit is with us. The Holy Spirit is with us. Amen. Amen. There are some new people today. 예, 지난 주간에 아, 전도 캠프가 있었습니다. And last week there was evangelism camp. 예, 어, 여러분이 꼭 현장을 나가지 않았어도 한 주간을 캠프로 있는 자리에서 인도 받았을 것입니다. So though some of you were not able to go to the field together, I'm sure you were able to enjoy the camp in your own place. 예, 물론 어, 갔던 현장에서는 생명 운동이 일어났어요. And of course, to the places we have been to, the life movement took place. 예, 어, 간 곳마다 하나님의 나라가 임하고 어, 지속해서 말씀 운동하기로 하고 이런 성령이 역사하시는 것을 체험할 수 있었습니다. In all the places we went to, the people were willing to continue the system, so we saw the working of the Holy Spirit. 예, 그런데 어, 나가지 못하고 이 자리에 있는 그 속에서도 여러분이 캠프의 빛을 비추는 것을 확인할 수 있었어요. And at the same time, the people who were not able to go out together, yet they were shining the light of the camp together. We saw that. 네. 사단이 얼마나 아, 이 전도, 선교를 싫어하는지를 우리가 또 확인할 수도 있었고요. So it was the time schedule for us to check how much Satan hates the evangelism and missions. 그것을 딱 깨닫고 네, 캠프의 빛을 쫙 바라는 그 자리에 참 치유의 근본의 근원의 회복이 일어나기도 했어요. So realizing this, um, the place that this individual has shown the light of the camp, the healing of the fundamental took place. 네. 어, 이, 이 사진 자료라도 여러분과 함께 좀 봤으면 좋았을 텐데요. So uh, how nice it would be if only we could see some pictures together. 네. 어, 조금 한주 정도 정리를 해서 여러분 한번 그 포럼을 나누면 좋겠습니다. But perhaps it's going to need more time to organize some forums and pictures, and so the next week maybe we can hear some forums. 아, 우리 현장에 그 휴가 기간인데도 어, 팀을 이루어서 나갔던 전도자들에게는요 인생 메시지가 있죠. Though it was a holiday season for the evangelist team that Enter the camp together. Um, they had the life message. Yeah. 아 여러분 기억하십니까? 우리 고 목사님들이 많이 하시던 말씀들 기억이 나십니까? So can you recall the sayings that our late pastors always said? Yeah. 아 문제 될거 없어 이런 말씀을 많이 하셨어요. They always said it's not a uh, nothing's a problem. Yeah. 네가 하려고 그러니까 그래. So the problem is because you are trying to do it. 다 되게 돼 있어. It's bound to work. 예, 그런 말씀을 자주 하셨거든요. They used to say these sayings many times. 그 그게 무슨 말일까요? So what do you think this would mean? 예, 십자가에서 예수님이 다 해결하셨어. It 그 means they were trying to say that Jesus finished everything on the cross. 예, 이 문제 저 문제 많은 것 같은데 그거. 근본 문제 따로 있잖아. It looks like there are lots of problems. This looks like a problem. That looks like a problem. However, the fundamental problem is separate. 그, 그 문제 아니야. So that problem isn't the real problem. 그 하나님 떠나 문제 죄 사단의 문제 아니가. So that even that problem is also from the separation, sin, and Satan. 예, 그 유일한 문제 그렇다면 유일한 답 그거 붙잡으면 돼. So that's also the unique problem. If that's the case, you just only need to hold on to the unique answer. 그 유일한 비밀을 가지고 계셨어요. So our late pastors always had this unique mystery. 그렇기 때문에 그리스도가 주인이 되면 돼. That's why they had this sure conclusion. If only the Christ becomes the master, everything's fine. 그 문제를 허락하신 분도 
Because even the one who allowed that problem is God. 그 문제를 통해서 영원한 답을 찾게 하실 분도 하나님. And it's also God who will lead you to find the eternal answer from that problem. 그 문제 때문에 복음의 증인 되게 하실 분도 하나님입니다. And it's also God who will lead you to stand as the witness of the gospel because of that problem. 네가 하려 그러니까 그렇지. But the problem is because you are trying to do it on your own. 그 말이에요. That's what all what they always said. 그리스도 주인 고백하거라. Just confess the Christ as your master. 그렇죠. 에, 그러면서 다 되게 돼 있어. 아셨어요. And they also said it's bound to work. 에, 오직 성령이 임하시면 너희가 권능을 받고 예루살렘, 유대, 사마리아 땅 끝까지 에, 증인이 되리라. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes in you and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. 에, 그 약속을 믿으셨던 거죠. They really believed in this promise. 어떤 문제를 가져가서 아마 상의를 해도 어, 주로 그런 대답을 하셨어요. No matter what kind of problems I would bring to them, this is always the same answer they would give me. 인생 메시지가 정리돼 있다는 거죠. Meaning to say, their life message was already organized in them. 예, 그 우리 제자들도 인생 메시지가 정리가 된 제자들이 현장 캠프에 인도 받았습니다. And the disciples who organized the life message were the ones who received the guidance for the field camp today. This um this time. 어떤 문제가 있어도 답을 줄 수가 있는 거예요. That's the reason why these evangelists are able to give the answer no matter what the problem is. 네, 그래서 문제와 답 그리기. So the problem and answer drawing. 그 그려 주는 겁니다. They go to the field and they draw it. 네, 똑같은 그림 같지만. 현장에 따라서 어, 그 문제에 답이 되는 거예요. It looks like the same picture. However, depending on different fields, this problem and answer becomes the exact answer. 전도는 성령님이 하시는 일이잖아요. Because evangelism is the Holy Spirit's job. 네, 문제는 이 그리스도 메시지에 반응하는 사람을 잘 확인하는 거죠. The only key for uh the only key for us is to find who are the people reacting to the message of the Christ. 그래서 그리스도로 주인 바꾸는 이 기도를 누가 하고 있냐? And also to look for the people who are actually practicing the prayer to change the master through the Christ. 네, 이제 어 어. Following up 할 때는 그 사람을 찾는 겁니다. So when we will have a schedule for the follow up. That's the individual we got to look for in the field. 예, 이제 하나님이 준비하신 거죠. Because that means they are prepared by God. 예, 그, 어, 예, 지속할 수 있는 시스템이 될 것입니다. And they are going to stand as a system to continue too. 그리스도만 말하는 걸 좋아하는 그런 예비된 어, 그런 사명자가 있어요. There must be the committed workers who are prepared by God and there are the ones who and who who like to hear about the Christ only. 그렇죠? 저와 여러분들이 그렇게 그 메시지에 반응했던 거 아닙니까? Because just like you and me too, that's the message we reacted to only. 예, 여러분이 인생 메시지가 정리돼 있어야 됩니다. So your life message must be organized in you. 예, 그래야 여러분을 통해서 어, 작정된 자, 생명 얻고 또 말씀 운동 편안할 수 있어요. So the one appointed to receive the salvation on the day could be saved and the life movement will go on through you. 캠프를 통해서 제일 행복해 했던 분들은 바로 어, 가장 먼 곳. 예, 밤 늦게까지 예, 뭐 이런 현장을 가서 하나님이 살아 계시고 말씀이 성취된다는 걸 확인한 전도자들이었어요. The people who rejoiced the most through the camp were actually the people who went went to the farthest place and the people who came late at the latest. Uh, they, they, because these evangelists were able to see exactly how God was alive. 자, 그게 이제는 어, 1년에 한번 하고 몇 달에 한번 하는 그 캠프 때만 누리는 것이 아니라 우리 삶 속에서 지속돼야 되겠습니다. So this blessing must not be only just a blessing to enjoy annually or, if, or, or during the special camp season only, but this blessing must be enjoyed in our lifestyle. 그래서 이제 그 만나진 어 그런 새로운 신자들 중에서 어, 정말 말씀에 반응하고 하는 그런 사명자들은요 한 3년 이내에 인생 메시지가 정리되도록 그렇게 방향을 잡고 우리가 도와주는 것입니다. So among the targets we met for through this evangelism camp, 
uh, when we could find that those people who are committed workers or those who are reacting to this message, we have to help them so that they could be also organizing their life message within about three years. 그렇지 않으면요, 또 상황, 현실 때문에 흔들려요. If not helping them this way, again, they're going to be shaken because of the situation and circumstances. 이 어마어마한 약속, 하나님의 말씀, 언약, 이거보다는 사람 말을 들을 확률이 시간이 훨씬 많거든요. So because there is a higher potential and possibility for these targets to hear the people's saying more than they listen to the tremendous word of God or the covenant. 자, 그래서 오늘 본문에 예수님께서 제자들에게 말씀하십니다. So in today's passage, this is Jesus speaking to his disciples. 예, 근심하지 말라 하십니다. Says, do not let your hearts be troubled. 그죠. 이 제자들 3년이나 예수님 공생의 기간 동안에 함께했던 제자들입니다. These are the disciples who accompanied Jesus for the three public ministry years. 예, 그런데 어, 지금 근심된 얼굴로 서로를 의심하면서 쳐다보고 있는 거예요. But now these disciples were looking at each other with the troubled face. 예, 오늘 요한복음 14장. So that's the front part of chapter 14 of the book of John today. 그 앞장에 뭐가 나오냐면요. Then what comes out in the previous chapter, chapter 13? 예수님께서 어 이제 그향 마리아의 향유 어 사건 그리고 또 제자들의 발을 쓰어 주는 일 일은 다 지나고요. After the event that Mary poured the perfume on Jesus' feet and also Jesus washed his disciples' feet. That was the those were the incidents in chapter 13. So passing through all that. 예. 어, 그런데 너희 중에 어, 누구 하나가 나를 팔 것이다 하셨거든요. Then Jesus said, "But there's one among you who will sell me." 예. 제자들이 서로 보면서 누구에게 말씀하시는 걸까 의심하는 눈으로 서로를 보기 시작했어요. So disciples started to have a doubting heart, and they started to look at each other. So who is that guy to sell Jesus? 예수님 계속 앞으로 되어질 일을 말씀하십니다. Jesus kept on speaking about the things that will happen before and after. 예수님 하나님이시잖아요. Because Jesus is God. 예, 육신을 입고 이 땅에 오신 하나님이십니다. Because Jesus is God who came on this earth through the human flesh. 구원 사역을 위해서 이제 십자가 지실 그 일이 바로 눈앞에 있는 거예요. Because the crucifixion that Jesus had to take the cross was approaching right before Jesus. 예, 그런데 우리 제자들은 어, 아직 그 말을 온전히 이해하기가 어려운 거죠. But these disciples were not able to completely understand what Jesus meant. 예, 예, 이 예수님께서 이제 십자가 지실 것을 말씀하시고 보좌로 가실 것을 말씀하시죠. So now Jesus is telling that he will take the cross and that he has to go up to the throne. 네, 그런데 제자 도마는요. 예수님이 어디로 가시는지 알아야 우리가 따라갈 거 아닙니까? But among, but among Jesus' disciples, there's Thomas. And Thomas told Jesus, Teacher, you got to tell us where you're going to so we could follow you. 그렇죠. 아, 보좌, 아직 이해가 안된 거예요. Because he could, he still couldn't understand what the throne was at that 그리고, time. 그리고 어 나를 본 자는 아버지를 본 것이다. 몇 번이나 말씀을 해주시는데요. And Jesus repeatedly said many times that if you have seen me, you have seen my father. 이 빌립 제자는요. 아버지를 보게 해달라고 계속 요청을 하는 거예요. But these disciple, Philip, kept on asking Jesus, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. 자 이렇게 예수님이 하신 말씀을 그대로 믿고 이해하지 잘 못했어요. So just like this, even the disciples were actually not believing in Jesus' words as plainly as it is, and they were, nor they were able to understand it. 메시지 정리가 안된 거예요. That means they couldn't. Organize the message well yet. 예, 사단이 이거를 잘 알아요. So Satan exactly knew about this. 예, 어, 예수님 만난 사람은 예, 보좌의 사람들입니다. So as soon as we met God, we uh, the the person who met Jesus became the person of the throne. 예, 예, 사단에게 소속이 될수 없어. 사단의 자녀가 될수 없어요. As soon as this person became the person that belongs to the uh, to the throne, he could no longer belong to Satan. 그 신분을 바꿀 수 없다는 것을 
Satan and Satan exactly knows that he could not change the identity anymore. That's why the only thing he could possibly do is deceiving these people. So he exactly knows when is the time these people are usually being shaken and where is the uh, and, and what place is not the place of only. 네, so Jesus also said, cast away all your worries to Jesus, to God. 말씀하셨냐면, Why did Jesus say this way? It is because he cares for you. 우리가요, but the thing is, there are many times that we couldn't really believe in this. The evidence that we don't believe in this. 네. 근심, 낙심, 염려하니까요. We have troubles in our heart, we discourage and we worry about it. That's 네. the evidence. 하나님 믿지 않는 것이 죄라 그랬어요. And God said, not believing in God is the sin. 그러면 또 다시 죄의 저주로 빠지는 거예요. So we, when we don't believe in God, that means we fall back to the sin and curse 믿지 again. 않는 자, 죄 짓는 자는 마귀에 계속해요. And the one who don't believe in God, that means he's committing sin. And the one who commits a sin belongs to the devil. 영향권 아래로 가는 거예요. So he will go underneath the Satan's influence once again. 그래서 우리가 문제와 답을 그리죠. That's the reason why we draw the problem and answer. Over and, over. and again, we tell ourselves it's not other problems. That problem right there is exactly from Genesis 3. And all the problems came out from that Genesis 3 problem. So beware, be alert. 왜요? Why? Because your enemy, the devil, is roaming around like a roaring lion to, to look for someone to devour. There is Satan, your enemy. His target are the is the people who are uh, slumbering and spiritually fall asleep. So I bless you that you may be alert and be self-controlled all the time. 예, 그래서 어, 우리가 지난 그, 그 어, All Saints Day를 기점으로 어, 우리가 전도 캠프로 인도받기로 결단을 한 거였어요. This is the reason why we made a resolution to receive the guidance for the evangelism camp, setting our D-Day from the All Saints Day. 예, 근심할 일, 염려할 일을 얼마나 아주 가져다 주는지 모르겠어요. But as um, Satan has actually brought us so many works and things to worry about actually. 예, 낙심할 일, 투성이에요. 보니까. So if you will actually look around, there are only full of things to discourage. 예, 그래서 근신하라, 깨어라, 너희 대정 마귀. 예, 야, 이 흑암을 박살내야 되겠다. 결단을 하고 that's the reason why Jesus told us to be self-controlled and be alert. Holding on to that, we made up the resolution. Okay, so this time we will totally shatter this darkness and Satan. And with that heart, we receive the guidance for the evangelism camp. 자꾸 염려가 되고 낙심이 되고 이렇게 하면요, 여러분 딱. So if you keep worrying about something and if you happen to be discouraged, even if you don't want, this is the word you have to be reminded of. Because it says, cast all your anxiety on God. Because our Lord cares for you. Believe in this. So today, Jesus is saying, do not let your hearts be troubled. He said this because he already knew that disciples were full of doubt and they were full of troubles in their heart. So Jesus is saying, because you believe in God and you believe in me, so don't let your hearts be troubled. I am going there to place to prepare a place for you, and I will come back to get you guys. 그리고, 어. And I will send you the Holy Spirit who is a constant. And He will be with you to the ends of the world. 
So, so don't be a friend. Don't, don't, so don't be troubled. 자, 우리에게 대적이 있다는 것을 잊으면 안 됩니다. So we should never forget the fact that we have it. We have the enemy. 복음을 주신 이유예요. That's the part. The reason God gave us the gospel. 네, 죽이고 멸망시키고 속이는 사단이 존재하고 활동해요. Because Satan who destroys, uh, deceives, and kills exists, and he is at work. 그죠? 어, 우리 어린 렘넌트가 하나님 왜 사단을 만들어 갖고 나를 이렇게 괴롭히냐고 그래. Our kid remnant asked a question like this. How come God made Satan and so he's putting me in so much troubles? 예, 하나님 사단을 만든 게 아니고. It's not that God made Satan. 천사가 타락했죠. It's it's that God made angels but this angel corrupted. 아주 예. 그 능력을 가지고 타락하니까 그 능력을 가지고 어, 하나님의 자녀 공격해요. The angel who used to be a powerful being corrupted and that's the reason why with all the might and power he used to have is now attacking God's children. 그렇죠. 첫 인류 아담과 하와에게 그옛 뱀, 뱀에게 들어가서 공격 속였잖아요. So to the first human race he appeared through the serpent. He entered into the serpent and the serpent deceived the first human race, Adam and Eve. 노아 시대 그 땅에 이미 네필름이었다고 했어요. And during the age of Noah, the Bible says that the Nephilim has covered the age already. 네, 또 바벨탑 시대 어땠습니까? And what about during the the age of Babylon? 우리가 힘을 앞에서 대를 높이 짓자 하늘에 이르자. I'm sorry, age of the Tower of Babel. And so people, uh, people put their heart together and said, let us build this tower up high and make our names known. 네, 하나님이 주인이 아니라니. That means God was not their master. 내가, 우리가. I, we. 예, 그렇게 해서 성공할 줄로 압니다. Because they believe they could succeed that way. 그렇죠? 사단이 하는 일이에요. That's what Satan always does. 예, 하나님 없는 성공 더 크게 무너집니다. The success without God will actually bring you even a bigger destruction. 다른 사람까지 어렵게 하면서 무너져요. So when that person falls. That's the time he will even give all the destruction to the people around. 그래서 하나님께서 바로 복음을 주신 거예요. That's the reason why God gave us the gospel immediately. 우리가 아직 죄인되었을 때. While we were still sinners. 십자가에서 어, 그리스도께서 죽으심으로. As Christ died on the cross. 하나님 우리에 대한 자기의 사랑을 확증하셨느니라. God has demonstrated His love for us in this. 예, 우리가 예, 언약을 이렇게 붙잡고 있잖아요. This is the covenant we're holding on to. 처음부터 주셨어, 처음부터. And God gave us this covenant in the beginning. 창세기 3장. Genesis 3. 사건 일어났을 그때 처음부터. As soon as the Genesis chapter 3 event arose, he gave us this. 여자의 후손이 뱀의 머리를 깨뜨릴 것이다. The offspring of woman will crush the head of the serpent. 네, 여러분 이 복음의 핵이 되는 말씀을 붙잡고 네, 여러분이 묵상도 하고 숨치우도 하고 이렇게 합니다. This is the core of verses of the gospel. Holding onto these verses, so we go into the meditation and deep breathing too. 예, 어 이스라엘 백성이 이, 이 언약을 놓치고 400년 노예살이 갔을 때도 하나님께서 일방적으로 답을 주셨어요. But Israelites lost hold of the covenant, so they were sent as a slave for 400 years. Even that time, God has given them this covenant on His side unconditionally once again. 문설주의 어린 양의 피 바를 때 해방 받을 것이다. You are going to be set free when you put the blood on your door frames and door post. 저 너희는 사흘길쯤 저 광야로 나가서 피 제사 드려야 되는 백성이다. Go for a go uh, go to the journey for about a three days walk and tell Pharaoh that you guys are the people who have to give the blood sacrifice. 우리는 그런 백성이라고 가서 바로에게 말해라. Go tell Pharaoh that you are the people who have to give this blood sacrifice. 그 하나님의 방법이에요. That's God's method. 그렇죠? 어 피제사요 피제사. That's it. Blood sacrifice it is. 십자가에서 예수님이 피를 위해서서 이 모든 문제를 해결하신다고 하는 것의 약속입니다. Blood sacrifice was the a uh, symbol that Jesus will come and die on the cross to shed his blood and will solve everything. Yeah. So these kind of messages must be organized as your life message. 그렇죠? 그 시대를 묵상하면서 그 시대의 재앙을 해결했던 그 복음 이걸 붙잡고 묵상하면서 기도하는 거죠. So holding on to the gospel of each age the disaster of the age was solved, and we are holding onto these gospel verses and are meditating accordingly. 자, 어, 그래서 여러분들이 어, 지금 구원의 길, 문제와 답, 십자가 
이 언약을 붙잡고 어, 복음도 전하고 생명도 얻고 기도 응답도 받고 하는 거예요. That's why today we're holding to the covenant of the problem and answer, a way of salvation, which is the cross. Should we share and we draw, so we receive the answer for our prayer and see the solution for the answer, uh, the problem as well. 예, 어, 지금 제자들은 예수님이 십자가를 지신다. 곧 그런 일이 있다라고 하니까 두렵죠. So disciples just heard from Jesus that he will take the cross. With upon hearing what's going to happen, uh, they 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 became afraid of it. 누군가 나를 팔자가 있다. And Jesus even said, "There is someone who will sell me." 그렇죠. 하나님의 절대 주권 속에서 이 모든 일들에 에, 예수님은 이미 다 아시는 거예요. In the sovereign, in God's absolute sovereignty, Jesus already knew everything. 그런데 이 십자가 사건은 죽는 사건이 아니고. But here's what we have to remember: the event of crucifixion is not the event of death, but it's the event of victory. 그 일로 사망의 세력을 잡은 자들을 사망시키는 사건입니다. Because of that work, the beings who are holding onto the authority of the death are being put to death. 이게 바로 승리의 약속이죠. So this is exactly the event of victory. 예, 원수의 권세를 멸하시겠다. And Jesus is saying that I will demolish the authority of the enemy. 예, 근심하지 말라는 것입니다. So don't let your heart be troubled. 예, 그래서 이 십자가의 도가 멸망받을 자들에게는 미련하게 보여요. So the message of the cross that looks foolish in the eyes of those who will perish. 구원을 받은 저와 여러분들에게는 하나님의 능력입니다. But for you and me who receive the salvation, it becomes our power. 그러니까 여러분 그래서 어, 정말 구원의 길 문제하다 그리면서 하나님의 능력을 여러분 체험하십니까? So are you truly drawing the way of salvation and the problem and answer and experience God's power while drawing that? 이게 승리의 약속이에요. That is God's promise of victory. 네. 어, 십자가의 죽음이 없이는 부활이 없죠. Without the death on the cross, there is no resurrection as well. 곧 부활해서 어, 예수님이 하나님이신 것을 그리스도이신 것을 증명할 거예요. Soon Jesus will resurrect from the death, and he will prove that he is God, that Jesus is God. 네. 그리고 보좌 우편에 오르실 겁니다. And he will also ascend and sit and will be seated on the right hand of God the Father. 처소를 예배하러 가신다고 하셨어요. And he said he's going there to to prepare a place for us. 다 예비가 되면 데리러 온다고 하셨어요. And he also said once it's all ready he will come to get us. 그래서 우리는 예수님의 초림과 재림 사이를 말세를 지금 살고 있는 것입니다. So we are the uh, the age we are living in right now is the time in between the first advent and the second advent of Jesus. So we are calling this period the last days. 네, 말세 때에 어떤 흉흉한 일들이 있을 것이라고 다 예언해 주셨죠. And it was even all prophesied what kind of ter uh, terrible things will be uh, rising in the last days. 그런데 다시 오시는 그날까지 예수님은요. 보혜사 성령님을 보내주신다고 했어요. But Jesus also promised, until the day I come back, I will send you the Holy Spirit. 네, 내가 아버지께 구하겠다. And I will ask my father. 내 이름으로 보내실 보혜사. Counselor who will be sent in my name. 네, 어, 그 성령이 오시면. If that Holy Spirit comes. 네, 그 능력을. If you receive that power from him, 네, 우리가요, then you shall be my witnesses to the ends of the earth, 네. he said. 네, 여러분, 어, 그 오늘 일부 제목이 참 능력이에요, 참 the 능력. title of the first message today was the true power. 네, 참 능력을 주겠다고 약속한 그 날, 그 자리. So there is a God has a promise to give you the true power on the certain day and a certain place. So don't lose hold on to that. 그게 마가 다락방의 사도행전 1장 14절의 그 자리였어요. So that place was exactly Mark's upper room in Acts chapter 1 verse 14. 그게 주일 이 예배 시간입니다. And that is the same time as the Lord's Lord's Day worship time. 이이 이날에 성령님이 함께 하시는 것을 여러분이 체험하고 또 6일을 매일을 
승리하는 것입니다. On the day you have to experience the Holy Spirit being with you, and then for the rest of the six days throughout the week, you have the victory. 그래서 우리가 캠프의 그 날에 승리한 것입니다. And that is in the same way how we had the success in the victory and on the camp D day. 그렇죠? 우리가 우리를 보호하시고 은혜 주시고 가르치시고 하시는 성령님이 우리와 함께 하세요. Because the Holy Spirit who protects us, who gives us a grace and teaches us is with us. 예. 어, 이렇게 승리의 약속을 하셨고요. This is the promise of the victory he gave us. 예, 성령이 함께 하신다라고 하는 사실적인 약속을 주셨어요. And he also gave us the factual promise of the Holy Spirit being with us. 성령이 함께 하시면 사단은 무릎 꿇을 수밖에 없어요. If the Holy Spirit is with us, then Satan has no choice but to kneel. 그래서 믿으라는 것입니다. 믿어라. That's why we, uh, that's why he's telling us to believe in him. 예, 예수님만이 내가 바로 그 길이다. Jesus is the only way. 그 진리다. The truth. 그 생명이다. And the life. 그죠? 나로 말미암지 않고는 아버지께로 올 자가 없다고 하셨어요. And he said, "No one comes to my Father except through me." 예, 예수님이 바로 하나님입니다. Jesus is God. 예. 어, 그리스도를 통해서 우리는 구원을 받았어요. Through the Christ, we received salvation. 예, 예수가 그리스도라고 하는 것을 안거 자체가 응답 중에 응답입니다. Knowing that Jesus is the Christ is the answer of all answers. 예, 그래서 너희들은 알아라. So you must know. 예, 이제는 내 이름으로 무엇을 구하든지 내가 행할 것이다. Now, if you ask anything in my name, then I will fulfill it. 예, 어, 왜 이렇게 기도 응답을 해주실까요? Then why is Jesus giving us the answer for the prayer? 하나님이 영광 받으시기 위해서. In order for God to receive the glory for that. 아들로 말미암아 영광을 받으시기로 하셨어요. Because it was already set by the Father that He will receive the glory through the Son. 그래서 우리가 그 이름을 부르는 것입니다. That's the reason why we're calling on His name. 그렇죠. 아이 어, 구원의 축복을 이렇게 간단하게 누리도록. God has promised us to enjoy this blessing of salvation in this simple way. 예, 어, 예수 이름 부르면 성령이 임하세요. If we call on Jesus' name, the Holy Spirit works. 예, 보혜사 성령이 어, 우리와 영원히 함께 하신다고 했어요. The Holy Spirit, the Advocate, will be with us forever. 예, 아예 우리 속에 계시겠다고 했어요. And He even said, "I will just be within you." 예, 그리고 어, 성령님은 우리에게 모든 것을 가르쳐 주시고 또 생각나게 하신다고 했습니다. And it is, it is also said that the Holy Spirit will teach us everything and will make us remember all the things He 예, taught us. 이러니까 승리할 수밖에 없죠. This is the reason why we have no choice but to have victory. 예, 예, 사단의 존재를 알죠. 그 활동하는 사단의 일을 알죠. We know Satan and we know how he works. 예, 어떻게 어, 이 사단의 일이 하, 흑암의 나라가 꺾이는지 알죠. And we also know how the work of Satan is being crumbled, uh, is being broken down, and how Satan's kingdom, the darkness, is also breaking down. 어떻게 하나님 나라가 임하는지 알죠. And we also know how God's kingdom is coming upon. 그 누리라는 것입니다. God's telling us to enjoy that. 그죠? 예, 성령이 오시면. 그 날에는 어, 20절 보세요. 내가 아버지 안에 너희가 내 안에 내가 너희 안에 있는 것은 너희가 알게 될 것이라고 했어요. So this is what's going to happen if the Holy Spirit comes on us. Look at verse 20. On that day you will realize that I am in my Father and you are in me and I am in you. 예. 어, 여러분 그래서 우리가 축도를 할때 그죠? 성령의 내주 인도 교통 역사 하심으로 축복하는 거예요. That's the reason why I am blessing you during the benediction in um, all the, the, the indwelling guidance, working and communion of the Holy Spirit. 여러분 이렇게 인생 메시지로 이것이 정리가 돼 있어야 됩니다. Just like this, the this must be organized in you as, the, as your life message. 예, 어, 십자가로 끝이 아니에요. Because Jesus, when, uh, when Jesus took the cross, that was not the end. 예, 부활입니다. Because the, uh, taking the cross was for the resurrection. 예, 사망의 세력을 사망시킨 거예요. It is to give death to the, uh, to, to, to the beings that are holding the authority of death. 승리의 약속입니다. So the crucifixion was the promise of victory. 예, 그래서 
사실적으로 성령이 나와 함께 하시는 거예요. And so realistically the Holy Spirit is with us. 이게 다 세팅이 돼 있어야 돼요. This must be set in you. 예, 그래서 우리가 393의 기도면 된다 하죠. That's why we're saying 393 prayer is just enough. 예. 어, 여러분 이게 딱 절대 약속으로 붙잡혀져야 됩니다. So this must be oh, this must be uh, you must you must be able to grasp it as your absolute promise. 예. 음. 예. 혹시 어, 393 이게 뭔지 잘 모르시는 우리 성도도 계실 것 같아요. So some of you might not know what it means by 393 prayer. 예. Well, 앞에 3은 성삼위 하나님이죠. So here is the explanation about the 393. The first number 3 is the uh, indicating the triune God, 저, the Trinity. 말, 말씀으로 성삼위 하나님을 누리는 것입니다. So we enjoy the triune God through the word. 예, 예, 지금도 하나님은 말씀을 주시고 어, 그 말씀을 성취하세요. Even now, God gives us His word, and He fulfills His word. 지금도 그리스도는 세 가지 저주를 해결하고 계십니다. Even now, Jesus Christ is solving the three curses. 지금도 성령님은 보좌의 권능으로 우리와 함께 하세요. And even now, the Holy Spirit is with us through, with the power of the uh, with yeah with the power of the throne. 그러면은 가운데 구는 뭐예요? 구. Then what about the nine? 너무, 너무 많죠. So there are so many things. Nine. 이 가지를 right? 세팅해라. 이게 뭐예요? 이게. Then what do you mean by have the setting of these nine things in you? 한번 잘 들어보세요. So just listen carefully, 네. guys. 삼 생명이 있어요. So the nine is also divided into three sets of three. So the first three among the nine would be the three lives. 네. 또삼 초월이 있어요. And three Transcendences. 그리고 삼 전무후무가 있어요. And three unprecedented. 아 이제 들어봤죠. So perhaps you could have heard of it. 예, 삼 um, 생명은 뭐예요? The, the three life. What does that indicate? 예, 우리에게 창세기 1장 27절 하나님의 형상이 예, 있다는 거예요. So the three life. The first is Genesis chapter 127. It's God's image in us. 원래 하나님이 형상대로 우리를 지으셨잖아요. Because God created us according to His image originally. 이걸 다 상실했잖아요. But we lost hold of all that. 지금 우리는 이게 회복됐잖아요. But now it's restored in us again. 어떻게 회복됐습니까? How? 예수님이 영접했잖아요. Because we accepted Jesus. 아, 예. 그래서 어, 하나님의 형상은 그리스도예요. So God's image is the Christ. 고린도 후서 4장 4절에 예, 어, 하나님의 형상 곧 그리스도 했어요. Second Corinthians chapter 4 verse 4 says and the image of God is the Christ. 예, 골로새서 1장 14절에는 그는 보이지 않는 하나님의 형상이라고 했어요. In Colossians chapter 1:14 says that he is a 15 he is the image of the invisible god. 그렇죠. 그래서 하나님의 형상 그리스도입니다. So God's image is the Christ. 예. 어, 그리고 하나님의 생기. And second secondly we have God's breath. 예. 어, 흙으로 사람을 만드셔서 코에 생기를 불어넣었어요. Man was created from the dust of the soil, then God breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. 그랬더니 생명이 되었죠. Then man became a living being. 네. 이걸 다 놓쳐버렸죠. But we lost hold of all these blessings as well. 죽었던 너희를 살리셨도다. That's why, that's why we have been put to death. And God said, you who were once dead in your, um, you who were once dead, was uh was saved and revived. 우리가, 우리가 언제 하나님의 형상으로 최고로 살아날까요? That when would be the time that we are revived uh to the fullness in God's image? 그게 성령 충만이에요. That is the feeling of the Holy Spirit. 그래서 요셉이 그 어려운 여정을 가는데 하나님의 영에 감동되었구나 인정받은 거예요. That was the reason why Joseph was acknowledged by other people that you are filled with the spirit of the Lord even though he was passing through that difficult journey. 그래서 그 불신자 보디발에게 바로 왕에게 인정을 받았죠. That's why he was even acknowledged uh, recognized by the Pharaoh the non-believer. 하나님의 영에 감동되었다. You are uh, the the spirit of God moves in you. 예, 열왕기하 어, 2장 9절에는 엘리사가 갑절의 영감을 구해서 
도단성 운동을 했어요. And Second Kings chapter 2 verse 9 Elisha asked for the double portion of the Holy Spirit from his teacher and so he could carry out the Dothan City movement. 그래서 우리도 우리 영적 스승님들의 갑절의 영감을 구하죠. In the same way, we are asking the double portion of the spirit of our teachers. 이 시대 살릴 렘넌트들을 키우고 영적 선미스를 파송하고 하는 일에 이 갑절의 영감, 성령의 충만함이 없으면 할수 없어요. Because the work we are doing is raising these remnants as a summit who will save this age and commissioning them. So if we don't receive the double portion of the spirit, we will never do this work properly. 그리고 사도행전 1장 8절, 언약 붙잡고 전도 캠프도 하는 거예요. And so holding to the covenant of Acts 1:8. We do the evangelism camp too. 오직 성령이 마시면 권능 받아서 땅 끝까지 증인 되리라. But you would be my witness. Um, but if the Holy Spirit comes in you, you will receive power, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem uh, to the ends of the earth. 그래서 우리가 숨쉴 때도 하나님의 생기 성령 충만을 주옵소서 하는 거예요. That's why we are applying this principle even in our breathing as we take in breath. We pray, God, may you give us your breath this time and fill me with your Holy Spirit. 네. 자, 그리고 세 번째, and 에덴의 third, 축복입니다. The blessing of Garden of Eden. 에덴의 에, 축복이 다 상실됐죠, 창세기 3장에서. In Genesis chapter 3, because of the event, we lost hold of all the blessings from Garden of Eden as well. 이게 어떻게 회복이 되나? Then how was this restored again? 그래서 40일 동안 하나님 나라 말씀해 주신 거예요. That's why God, Jesus kept on speaking about the work pertaining God's kingdom for 40 days. 그렇죠. 어, 내 안에 어떻게 하나님 나라가 임합니까? How is the kingdom of God established in our in us? 로마서 14장 7절이에요. Romans 14, 17절. verse 17. 예, the kingdom of God is not about drinking and eating. 성령 안에서 의와 평강과 희락이라고 했습니다. But for the kingdom of God is not a matter of eating and drinking, but of righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. 또 현장이 어떻게 하나님 나라 임합니까? Then what about in the field? How will you establish God's kingdom in the field? 마태복음 12장 28절 29절이에요. That is Matthew 12:28-29. 예, 성령을 힘입어서. 어, 귀신을 쫓아내는 것이라야 하나님 나라가 임한다 그랬어요. But if you drive out demons by the Holy Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. 자, 어, 이게 복음의 내용입니다. This is the contents of the gospel. 그죠? 그리스도 성령 충만 하나님의 나라. Christ filling of the Holy Spirit and God's kingdom. 하나님의 형상, 하나님의 생기, 에덴의 축복. God's image, God's breath, and the blessing of the Garden of Eden. 예, 그래서요, 어, 우리가 어, 마가 어, 갈보리 산 언약, 마가 다락, 마, 갈보리 산 언약, 감람 산 언약, 마가 다락방 언약 이게 붙잡는 거예요. So we are holding to the covenant of Mount Calvary, Mount of Olives, and Mark's upper room. 예, 이해가 되시죠? 그래서 우리가 1, 3, 8. Can you understand? So we are holding to the covenant of one, three, and eight. 예, That's the contents of the gospel. 예, 그러면 이 복음의 내용을 어떻게 붙잡냐는 거예요. Then it's all about how we could hold onto the contents of this gospel. 이삼 생명 복음의 내용을 붙잡는 방법이 있어요. Okay, so this three life is the contents of the gospel. Then there is a method for you to hold on to these contents of the gospel. 그게 삼초월이에요. That is the three transcendences. 네, 우리가 말씀으로 보좌의 축복을 누리는 겁니다. We enjoy the blessing of the throne through the word. 말씀을 붙잡을 때 When we hold on to the word. 왜 그러냐면 요한복음 1장 1절. Why? Let's just look at John 1.1. 그렇죠. 하나님은 말씀이시고 말씀으로 참, 천지를 창조하시고 하나님은 말씀이시고 말씀을 주시고 하세요. God created all these things through His Word, and God, He is the Word, and then He gives us His Word. 그런데 1장 14절. Verse, 육신을 입고 이 땅에 오셨어요. Chapter 1, verse 14. And He came, uh, He became the, He became flesh and made His dwelling among us. 그렇죠? 그리스도 예수 성자 하나님이죠. So the word that came to us through flesh is God the Son, Jesus. 그리고 요한복음 16장 13절에는 
성령님께서 우리를 진리 가운데로 인도하세요. In John 16 verse 13, the Holy Spirit will lead us into the truth. 그렇죠. 이러니까 우리가 말씀으로 보좌의 축복을 누리는 거예요. So this is how we enjoy the blessing of the throne through the word. 네. 우리가 말씀 놓치고 예배 놓치고 이 복음의 내용을 누릴 수가 없죠. So if we lose hold on to the worship and the word, we can't enjoy the contents of the gospel. 예, 그 다음에 두 번째 기도로 누리는 겁니다. And secondly, we enjoy this blessing through the prayer. 예, 우리는 어, 우리 육신은 시 공간의 제한을 받잖아요. Our body could be limited under the time and space. 그런데 기도로 어, 보좌의 천군 천사가 심부름하는 것으로 기도 응답으로. 말씀의 성취로 시공초월의 축복을 누리는 거예요. But the prayer transcends the time and space. So as we pray, the uh, the the heavenly our heavenly angels are working, and so through the fulfillment of the word and answered prayer, we get to enjoy the blessing of transcending time and space. 그리고 전도 속으로 들어갈 때. 2, 3, 7의 빛의 축복을 누리는 거예요. And when we enter into the evangelism, that's the time we also enjoy the blessing of the light over 237. 2, 3, 7의 빛은 그리스도의 빛이죠. The 237 light is the light of the Christ. 네, 베드로전서 2장 9절의 빛이에요. So it's the light from 1 Peter chapter 2:9. 왕, 선지자, 제사장의 빛이에요. It's the light of the king, prophet and priest. 네, 이게 바로 복음의 방법을 실천할 때 우리가 누리는 것입니다. So this is the um this is our enjoyment when we practice the method of the gospel. 네. 어, 이렇게 우리가 복음을 붙잡고요. So this is how we hold on to the gospel. 이렇게 할때 오는 응답이 있어요. And there are answers that come when we do this. 그게 바로 세 가지 전무후무예요. That is what we call the three unprecedented. 나의 전무후무. My unprecedented. 내가 이 삼칠을 살릴 주역이 된다는 겁니다. I am going to be I become the main figure to save the two three seven. 그죠? 치유의 주역, 서밋의 주역이 된다. And I become the main figure of the healing and summit too. 그리고 우리 교회의 전무후무예요. And there's also the church is unprecedented. 그럴 때 예배가 살아나는 거예요. That is when the worship gets to be revived. 네, 그럴 때 강단의 말씀이 살아나는 And 거예요. And that is when the message of the puppet will be revived. 제자가 일어나는 거예요. And disciples will arise. 그리고 현장의 전무후무예요. And the fields unprecedented. 네, 우리의 업이 오직 유일성 재창조의 응답을 받게 돼요. So your work is going to receive the answer of only uniqueness and recreation. 그리고 우리의 경제가 전도 선교를 위해서 로마서 16장 증인들 같은 응답을 받아요. And your uh, finance will receive the answer like the Romans chapter 16 individuals for the sake of evangelism and missions. 이게 빛의 경제죠. That is the light finance. 예, 우리, 우리 많이 체험해 봤잖아요. We experienced this many times actually. 예, 어떻게 이게 세워졌는지 많이 우리는 증인이에요. How was this RTC established? We are the witnesses of that. 예, 그리고 우리 주변에 그날에 영생을 주기로 작정한 자가 복음 받고 생명 받고 구원 받는 축복 전도의 축복까지 연결되는 거예요. And this blessing will be even connected to the evangelism as well. It's the blessing of saving the person who is appointed to receive the salvation on that day. 이게 현장의 전무후무예요. So that is the fields unprecedented. 예, 이거 여러분들이 어, 지, 지난 주간에 전도 캠프 통해서 확인했잖아요. So this is what we confirmed through the evangelism camp last week. 이렇게 어, 이게 바로 아홉 가지 세팅이에요. So these are the nine settings. 예, okay. 복음의 내용인 삼 생명을 붙잡는 거예요. So holding on to the contents of the gospel, it's the three life. 그럴 때 그럴 때 복음의 방법 삼 초월로 미션을 실천하는 겁니다. That is when we carry out the mission through the method of the gospel. 그렇죠. It's the three transcendences. 그렇죠. 그리스도, 하나님 나라, 성령, 충만, 언약 붙잡고 holding onto the covenant of Christ, kingdom of God, and filling with the Holy Spirit. 네. 말씀, 기도, 전도, 사문을 전도자의 삶을 살아요. And we leave the three days of the life of evangelists, which is the word, prayer, and evangelism. 그게 3초월의 
예, 그런 미션을 실천하는 거죠. Because by living this life, we carry out the mission of the three transcendences. 그럴 때 복음의 응답이 오는 거예요. That is when the answer of the gospel comes to us. 내가 교회가 현장이 전무후무한 응답을 받는 거예요. You, the church, and the field will receive the unprecedented answer. 이게 아홉 가지. So combining them all, they are nine things. So we are saying, have the setting of these nine things. 아, 안 어렵죠? Is it 네. difficult? 그다음 마지막에 삼은 뭐예요? Then what about the last three in 393? 네. 그는 어, 시대를 살리는 응답을 받는다는 거예요. So speaking of the last three things, it indicates the answer to save the age. 네. 어, 목회자를 살리고 교회를 살려야 세계복음화 하죠. In order to do the word evangelization, the first uh, target we have to save is actually the pastor and the church. 네, 그리고 중직자들이 일어나서 현장 살리는 거예요. And the church officers must arise, so the field will be saved through them. 그리고 부교역자들과 렘넌트들과 함께 미래 살리는 거예요. And all together with the assistant pastors and remnants, we will save the future. 그렇죠. 그래서 우리는 이삼 시대를 준비하는 RUTC 운동 그 속에 있는 겁니다. That's why this RUTC was established in order to uh, prepare for this three ages and save the three ages. We are within this RUTC. 이삼 시대를 준비하기 위해서 HPRTS 인도 받고요. And in order to prepare this three ages, HPRTS came out and were receiving 네. the guidance. 우리 산업이 그렇게 쓰임 받도록. And we are also praying that our business could be used for that. 그래서 현장 캠프도 인도 받는 거예요. So we're even receiving the guidance for the field camp. 자, 393의 기도. That's it. 되시죠? 393 prayer. Do you get it? 자, 여러분이 어, 마음에 담기는 대로 어, 편안하게 고백하면서 이 축복이 나의 거 타시면 돼요. So just as much as you can put this in your heart. Comfortably confess that this blessing belongs to you and pray along. So if you will, uh, in, um, I mean, long sentences could be coming out from these prayers. 그리고 간단하게 에, 마태복음 16장 16절의 고백을 통해서 이 삼구삼을 누릴 수 있어요. Or simply, it's through just the confession of Matthew 16:16, you can already enjoy this 393 prayer too. 예, 그렇게 할때 여러분 교회가 세워지고 흑암이 꺾이고 그리고 보좌의 응답들이 쏟아진다고 하죠. That is when the church is established, the darkness crumbles, and the answer of the throne is pouring upon you. 그래서 여러분 응답보다 더 중요한 것은 여러분의 영적인 상태다. So what's more important than the answer is your spiritual state. 그렇죠? 현장에 나가서 많은 사람 영접했고 뭐가 응답으로 왔고 이 이전에 영적인 상태라 그랬습니다. Lots of people may have accepted Jesus because of you. So lots of answers could have come, but more than that, what's prior to that is your spiritual state. 정말 삼구삼의 기도를 하고 있다. 앞으로 어떤 응답이 계속 올지 상상할 수도 없어요. If you are really praying the three nine prayer continuously, then you can never imagine what kind of answers you will be receiving from now on. 그래서 오늘을 보면서 걱정하지 마시라. So don't worry looking at your today. 근심하지 마시라. Don't be troubled. 예, 하나님의 약속을 붙잡으시기 바랍니다. Just hold on to God's promise. 복음을 언약을 붙잡으세요. Just hold on to the gospel, the covenant. 삼 생명을 붙잡으세요. Just hold on to the three life. 예, 성삼위 하나님이 함께 하세요. God, uh, the triune God is with you. 복음의 방법 삼 초월을 누리시기 바랍니다. Just enjoy the method of the gospel, the three transcendences. 예, 삼 오늘 전도자의 삶을 사시기 바랍니다. And leave the three days of the life of the evangelist. 예, 전무후무의 응답이 올 것입니다. Then the answer, the unprecedented answer will come to you. 시대 살리는 응답이 여러분의 것입니다. The answer to save this age belongs to you. 예, 그래서 어떤 상황이 와도 속지 마시기 바랍니다. No matter what situation comes to you, just don't be deceived. 예, 어, 이 기도 누리고 있다면 여러분이 성령의 주 충만함을 받게 될 것입니다. If you are enjoying this prayer, then you will receive the feeling of the Holy Spirit. 네. 어, 요셉을 보면서 여호와의 신에 감동됐구나 하는 것 같은 고백을 불신자가 보고 할 것입니다. So the non-believers 
uh, will look at you and confess that you are the one uh, moved by the spirit of the Lord, just like they confessed when they saw Joseph. Uh, 함께 하고 싶다. 나도 따라 다녀보고 싶다. 여러분의 전도 현장에 나도 같이 가고 싶다. And they will, and even the disciples will be raised many for you. So those disciples will be like, "Oh, I want to go with you. I want to follow you to the evangelism field." Yeah. Uh, and the people will be telling you, "I, I want to enjoy this gospel just like you do." Yeah, 여러분이 uh, 내가 누리고 있는 하나님이 나와 함께 하시는 규례들을 어, 전해줄 수 있도록 어, 어, 매뉴얼을 손에 딱 쥐시기를 바랍니다. So in order to relay your custom of enjoying God to the people, you first have to grasp this manual 네. in your hand. 그래서 우리가 현장에도 예수 영접 현장에는 기도 카드부터 나눠줬어요. That's why in the evangelism camp for the people who accepted newly, we distributed the prayer card first. 주인 바꾸는 기도부터 하세요. Start by the prayer that changes the master. If it's the answer of the Christ, everything's going to be solved. Then people will be people will realize looking at you. Oh, that person has some mystery. He's he's actually classy. So when they closely look at you, what is it like? So there's a mystery in you. 그리스도의 비밀이에요. The mystery of the Christ that is. 여러분 그렇게 정말 그리스도 안에 다 있다라고 하는 것에 증인 되시기를 축복합니다. So just like that, I bless upon all of you to be the witnesses who can testify that everything is inside the gospel. 예, 걱정하지 마시기 바랍니다. Don't worry. 다른 거 기다리지 마시기 바랍니다. Do not wait for something else. 무슨 백마탄 왕자 이런 거 기다리지 마세요. Like a prince coming out of nowhere, don't expect that. 네. 아, 내게 들은 바 아버지의 약속하신 것을 기다리라. The, on, the only thing Jesus told you to wait for was the gift his father promised you. Okay? 네. 네, 여러분 문제다. 축복이다로 바꾸시기 바랍니다. So let's say this is a problem. Just change that. This is a blessing. 네, 위기다. Is it a crisis? Just know that it's an opportunity for you. Because all answers actually came through problems and crisis. Just find the answer in all your problems, and I bless upon you that you can that you may stand as the one who has who knows the unique problem and has the unique answer, and so the life message be organized in you and stand as this witness in the field. 음, 3년 안에 배신자가 인생의 메시지 있는 사람으로 설수 있도록 도와줄 수 있는 자로. So let's all be guided to stand as the individuals who can lead the new believers to be organized with the life message in three years. God, we give you our thanks. Thank you for blessing our lives to bring our life and pour it to your covenantal worship. May you bless us so that we may organize this life message in us. 하나님의 전에 신분 권세를 가지고 흑암에 빠진 자 사단에게 잡혀 있는 운명 바꾸어 주는 자될수 있도록 축복하여 주옵소서. Do bless us that we may be the individuals who will change the fate of the darkness of the people who are captured by the darkness with the identity and authority you gave us. 복음의 내용을 가지고. 복음을 누리는 방법 사모늘 전도제 삶이 더욱 깊어지게 하여 주옵소서. With the contents of the gospel, may the method of the gospel, which is enjoying the gospel and the three days of the life of evangelist, be even deeper. 하나님이 약속하신 전무후무의 나 교회 현장 세팅이 되게 하여 주옵소서. Do bless us that we may have the setting of the unprecedented me church and the field in us. 예수 그리스도 이름으로 축복하고 기도합니다. I bless and pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen.
amen for the message. Amen. And uh, God is telling us the message, uh, through the message, God is telling us that we must not uh, let our hearts be troubled. Just believe and have assurance with the word uh, which is bound to be fulfilled. Just entrust our lives through the covenant of 138, the Christ, the kingdom of God, and the power of the filling of the Holy Spirit. Let's uh, utilize together the manual uh, which our church is enjoying. And for the announcement, uh, for the announcement on November 7 and 8, Monday and Tuesday, uh, we will receive the 237 Tuesday conference message. And those who want to offer Thanksgiving flowers to decorate our pulpit, you may communicate with our assistant pastors. And we encourage everyone to pledge for the reconstruction of laundry area and healing room. Kindly send the amount to Assistant Pastor Lilibet. And please pray for the total cost of roofing. And the fourth worship will be at 4 o'clock yeah, in the afternoon. And those who prepare their offerings through GCash, please communicate with Mam Lisset. The number is 0915-276-4214. And let's pray for the school ministry. Let's pray for the resumption of classes tomorrow. Are you ready for classes tomorrow <laughs> after one week of academic break? And let's also continue to pray for our pulpit pastor, the admin staff, the faculty, the church co-workers, and the remnant missionaries who are devoting their lives for the ministry. And let's also pray for the Troas Church and the Wunju Mission Home and even the mission home of our evangelist, uh, Jasmine. And pray for the co-workers and systems for the newly opened field of evangelism camp held uh, this week. And thank you for those who gave their devotion during the e-camp. So to God be the glory. Lord, we give you thanks. 오늘 우리가 언약을 붙잡고 예배하게 하시니 감사를 드립니다. Thank you for blessing us to worship you, holding into your covenant today. 우리 인생의 문제가 유일한 문제, 그래서 우리 답도 유일한 답인 것을 알게 하신 하나님 감사를 드립니다. And we thank you for you made us realize that the problem in our life is the unique problem, and even the answer for this problem is also the unique answer. 이 유일한 가치를 누리고 증거하는 삶을 살수 있도록 축복하여 주옵소서. Do bless us that we may enjoy this unique value and testify. 나와 관련된 모든 현장의 문제 그리스도면 해결된다고 하는 확신을 가지고 서게 하여 주옵소서. Do bless us to be filled with the assurance that if it's the Christ, all problems in all the fields related with me could be all solved. 그렇기 때문에 예배 결단하고 복음의 말씀을 따라가는 제자 되게 하여 주옵소서. And so bless us to be the disciples who will make resolution for the worship and follow the word. 복음의 말씀을 누리면 당연히 오는 응답. 전도의 문이 열리고 선교의 문이 열리고 제자의 문이 열리는 것을 보게 하여 주옵소서. Bless us to see the answers that are coming uh, automatically as we enjoy the gospel, the answer of the door for the, the evangelism and missions being opened. 이제는 삼고삼의 기도로 24시 누리게 하여 주옵소서. And bless us that we may enjoy the 393 prayers 24 hours. 약속의 예물로 하나님 앞에 나왔습니다. We have brought the offerings of the promise before you Lord today. 삼치를 살리는 빛의 경제의 축복으로 함께 하여 주옵소서. May you be with the blessing of the light finance upon this offerings through the 
Light of Two for Seven. 현장에서 생명 운동하고 세계 복음을 하는 교회로 가정으로 개인으로 축복하여 주옵소서. Do, uh, do bless upon these individuals, their family, this church, and all of us to carry out this life movement in the field. 이제는 십자가에서 모든 문제 해결하신 그리스도 예수님의 은혜와 Now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ who finished everything on the cross. 하나님의 놀라우신 사랑하심과 And the great love of God the Father. 성령님의 내주 인도 교통 충만케 하심이 In dwelling, guiding, work, feel, feeling and communion of the Holy Spirit. 그리스도 안에 모든 것이 있다는 것을 확인 발견 체험하기 원하는 HMC 성도들 머리 머리 위에. About the heads of all HMC members who are willing to confirm and discover that everything is inside of Christ. 성경적인 전도 속에 또 모든 것이 있다는 것을 알기 원하고 누리기 원하는 제자들 머리 위에. And upon the heads of all the disciples who are willing to know and enjoy that everything is inside the biblical evangelism. 그래서 약속의 성령을 구하는 우리 렘넌트들과. 중직자들 머리 머리 위에. And so upon the heads of all the remnants and church officers who are asking for the promise, the feeling of the Holy Spirit. 저들의 학업 산업과 미래 현장 위에. And upon their business fields and the future academic fields. 이제부터 영원토로 함께 하실지어다. Be both now and always forevermore. Amen. Amen.